Okay, here was the fix. And as you can see, big old box flashing up there. Plus there's flashing underneath the flashing. <laughs> and uh, the shingles are tucked all the way in. But there's the end result. All finished. Now, of course, that corner over there didn't need it because it's not leaking. My main leak was right there in this entire corner, okay? That was going on. So I got that, got that fixed. Got all the rest of the shingles up. I'm good to go. All right. I'm sitting here on this fence up here, so let me get down so I don't kill myself. And I'll show you what the end result was because this is the problem I was having is uh, when I had a big rain, I built this building a little bit larger than the actual sheets of tin that I was using. But you can see the effects on the wall. See it coming back? I mean, coming the water coming through. And it literally was saturating this entire corner. And over time, it would rot this damn building out. And you can really see it down there. See? Wet as hell. All up in that corner, soaking wet. Okay? As you get over here, you can see the little bit of mold starting to grow on that wall. So this is why I built that other uh, extension. Now, if you look over here, completely dry. No problems in that corner. See, as you all go, go down, no problem. There you go. There's the wetness. And that last uh, two and a half foot of that wall. All right. Now... I got this thing up. Ah, what a beautiful day. What a different a day makes, man. I'm telling you. Uh, what a gorgeous, gorgeous afternoon. It was cold as hell this morning, but I can't, I'm telling you, this is this is sweet. So now I told you there's always a method behind my madness. Okay. You ready? Bam. My new chill hangout area. Oh yeah. <laughs> See, this is this is the reason I put this up too. Of course, now I'm protected up here as far as hopefully solving the leak issue. So we'll see. And like I said, I hope that buttoned up that corner and no more water gets into that building. I Man, I don't know what else to do, but so far that's that's the solution I came up with. Put my little bit of artwork up. Oh, yeah. Got my little frog. Radio. Two lawn chairs I had out here anyway. And, of course, the big addition is the hammock. Oh, yeah. And it works perfect, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. Works perfect. Ah! Chilling out. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now, this is what I'm talking about right here. And this was catching the eve. This will catch the evening sun. Because obviously the sun's right there. But there we go. Hey, boys and girls. Well, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's doing well. Ah, this is the way to hang out. Love it. Go to sleep. <sighs> I know I would have the radio playing, but YouTube will then not monetize this video. So I can't play anything in the background because they pick it up immediately. Oh, that's the copyrights to that song. That's the copyrights to this song. You can't use that. You can't use this. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. Unless you do the downloads, you know, their downloads and everything. And I said, oh, you know, what the hell? I don't know how to edit videos anyway, so it doesn't matter to me. Well, what you think, guys? Nice, huh? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now, the method behind the madness. See, I wanted to turn this little area over here because what was happening is I had all the really the entertainment areas like in the compound. And, and there was no area that's just small enough and kind of, you know, blocking all the rest of the view. And you just have this one little space. You know, it's like... This is like hanging out on the backside of a little cabin, you know? This is what it would look like in the mountains. 
sitting here now chilling out right here in this little space i can see the traffic i can see anybody coming up the road uh man beautiful and i got a nice view got my little birdhouse right there sweet yes 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 sweet when you see your feet <laughs> in the air there we go nice okay ah, and it's just the right height too so that's it i took all this other stuff i had and just stacked it over here because i had this wood and this uh brick and everything st stashed under here for so many years so really it was just like a dead space over here so now I created this interesting interesting little space now beautiful yeah i love it and then see when it rains you can come chill out over here and look upon the front two acres so that's really what i wanted to achieve is just to be able to have a different type of scenery out here because you know you got to change it up every year moved all that block now everybody wonders how i get my exercise well that's how i get my exercise moving shit around <laughs> always moving shit around but man i'm happy see so like if this was a small little log cabin you know you're you're living on the on the down low <laughs> and 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 there there was a con let me let me let me share with you what my original plans were because i saw a little tiny house on youtube oh four years ago and the way this guy had it arranged there was a guy and a girl believe it or not there were two people living in this little shack but they had the shack so organized that i i really took the concept so this was part of what they had going on behind the back of their little house. So then you got the little house, you know, some artwork, whatever. And of course, obviously this is a storage shed, but if I want to convert this into a little house, I can, okay? So close that up. So there's your, your front. And then you can put, of course, an awning in the front of there and create a little space, like a little small deck here, more post, you know, and run another shelter off of that. Then I saw this, this is where I got the idea from, was having an attached outhouse, but yet part, not part, of, I mean, part of the building, but a detached, so it doesn't, you know, smell or anything won't go in there. And I also did this, I put my screening up there so it'll ventilate but no bees and bugs will get in there hopefully uh wasp will probably still be able to get in those smaller holes but at least that's something okay and then then you got your classic outhouse man so and it's and it's got of course lights like i said i've wired it for lights so there you go And this is where this is where I got the tiny house concept from because I knew that when I built this shed, the shed was going to be for what it was meant meant to be for, being a shed. And like I said, I can run another little awning off the front of that, create a small little porch in there, and then that would be another little addition to that little shed. So this has got right now three parts to it: the shed itself, the outhouse. And then the back chill area. So that was that was what I had in mind the entire time, but it just took a while to build all this. And you know, between work in the city and getting out here to do these things, you know, I have to take it where I can get the time. Where I've so far, I've not had to work in the last four four days. So you know, great. I'm out here working, building stuff. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, this is this, like I said, a small house concept I actually saw on YouTube a few years back where a couple did the same thing and it created this really, really cool environment all from one single small building. Okay. And I got, again, 
I can even go as far. And, and, and theirs was even more tricked out than this, to be honest with you. And this is another half of the, of the shed. This will be all four sides that something could be put over here. You know, and, 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 you know, could be anything. So you can build anything off to this side, really. So that's a, that's, that was what I uh, envisioned. And so far I got two of the sides worked out, the main building, the outhouse, and the overhang, the little party area. Let me know what you think, guys. Leave those comments. And this is cheap too, buddy. I have less than $1,000 in this whole thing. I mean, less than. Almost like about 650 bucks is how I built this thing because I used everything I had out here. All right. Talk to you soon.